psychology. So if you're going to grow anything that's edible in it, I do not recommend you seal it. There's no need to seal it. It's going to... Um, Hi guys, welcome to Hunting and Shopping for Discounted Plants, episode 39. It's the blessed, it's the black bonsai guy. And I'm back here again today. Um, the weather is extremely hot, as we expect it to be this time of year in Tucson. Uh, your watering schedule should be completely adjusted. Uh, I'm not sure how the monsoon season is going to turn out this year. But you should be watering, you know, your plants at least, at least every other day, if not every day, depending where they are in the yard. In the uh, yard, um, I've seen folks that have pomegranates out there, and the pomegranates are already uh, starting to bust open because we just been having a peculiarly dry year so far. Uh, so make sure you pay attention to your watering. And without further ado, let's get into the episode. Guys, we're in Facebook Marketplace right now, and someone is selling a bonsai uh, dwarf Japanese garden juniper. Um, I think that's a pretty good looking juniper. Uh, I like that shelf is on. Uh, keep in mind, junipers need to be outside, and they need to get a fair share of sun. Uh, depending where you are at, fair share of sun can mean something different. Of course, out here in Tucson, it's 107, 8 degrees today, so uh, too much of that type of sun will definitely hurt it. You got to make sure you keep up with your more, your watering on it. Um, but yeah, they're asking $49 for it, and it ships for 9 bucks. Uh, not a bad deal. You probably can get these junipers uh, cheaper in your area. Um, if it, if it comes with the shelf, then it's a for sure buy. All right, guys, still in Facebook Marketplace, and the concrete benches are back. Uh, this person, they sell them um, mainly during the summer, and I see them pop up around like the holiday season. Um, but if you're looking to add some concrete benches or concrete pots, uh, this is something that you may want to look into. Uh, they sell the bench is 32 inches long by 16 inches tall and they are $45 not a bad deal All right guys still in Facebook marketplace and for those who are looking to add some wooden planters uh, to the backyard uh, someone has some surplus boxes uh, that you can very easily turn these into uh, planters I would drill a couple drain holes in the bottom of that, uh, throw a couple empty water bottles in the bottom to take up some of that uh, space, and I would turn this into a garden. Um, very easy to do to asking the nine feet long by 32 inches wide by 11 inches deep, I mean tall. Um, and they go for 20 bucks, which you can't beat. And location is in Rita Road, Ovell. Uh, they have the address, I'm sorry. The dimensions are, uh, yeah, that's right. I gave feet and then I gave inches for the uh, for the width and the, the, the height or the depth, if you will. No holds, no delivery, first come, first serve, good condition, plywood, perfect for planters. Uh, or raised garden beds would recommend sealing inside to protect the wood and adding drill holes twenty dollars each so if you're going to grow anything that's edible in it i do not recommend you seal it there's no need to seal it it's going to um you can get some of the uh maybe like a waterproofing barrier or just some of the regular um some of the regular wood that not wood the regular drop cloth that they place uh to stop weeds from coming up uh i would not seal it from the i wouldn't seal it at all because i just don't do chemicals in my garden uh, but if you're going to be eating anything from it you don't want to have any of that stuff leach out into your food and be consuming it uh there may be some uh sealers that are are um 
What's the word I'm looking for? Food friendly. Um, I don't know of any off the top of my head other than potentially, uh, you know, using wax, beeswax as a sealer. Um, but I'm sure that will break down over time as it's in the ground. If, you, if you're putting something like this in the, um, I mean, if you're going to be growing something in there, I will put the drain holes in there. And I would sit it on uh, bricks every, so, you know, I would place some bricks uh, all up and down this, probably at structure points to just kind of hold it off the ground. And uh, if you get some rotting of the wood, you just get rotting of the wood. I don't think it'll be a, a issue. If you don't care about the rotting of the wood, you know, you could put it directly on the ground. Uh, you probably will get some termites, uh, but termites are already out there uh, in your gardens right now, whether you realize it or not. Um, so, yeah, if you're if you're concerned about rotting on something you spent twenty dollars on, I wouldn't wouldn't be worried about that. Um, again, I would put the water bottles at the bottom of it, take up some of that mass, some of that space. So I can cut down on the amount of soil that I need to use, do my soil, and then I would, uh, you know, put whatever I want to grow in it. Uh, the water bottles will keep it light. They'll keep the bottom of it aerated so air can pass and, and water can drain out so it don't get soggy on you. On you. Um, and that will just help further uh, pro prolong the life of the, um, of the, uh, the planter. Uh, if anyone has any good ideas out there, feel free to drop a comment below. All right, guys, we have some uh, still in Facebook Marketplace. We have someone selling some garden trellises typically used when you need to hold a tree or plant up as it's growing. Uh, Two dollars a pop. Not a bad deal. Uh, they seem to be pretty tall. Two dollars each and they ship for nine bucks. Uh, I'm not sure where this person is located. But you may want to check with your local big box big box stores before you uh, pay to have something like that shipped in. All right, guys, what we have here is a three-tier stackable planter herb for indoor or outdoor garden flowers. Uh, these are perfect for strawberries. If you're in a small space like in an apartment and you have a small patio, get you a couple of these. You can always uh, stack and increase the height of them. Uh, add your soil in there. Uh, and you can grow strawberries. If you want to keep it light, you can uh, put some peanut foam, you know, that you get like uh, when you order something that's fragile or delicate. You can put some of that in the bottom of it and then add your soil on top of it. And um, you can keep it nice and light. Uh, strawberries, probably one of the easier things to grow. You just pretty much set it and forget it and make sure they have moisture. All right, guys, still in Facebook Marketplace, and I uh, mentioned Vadam in the past, but he posted another ad. Uh, real good guy, so I'm going to go ahead and um, shout him out again here. Uh, he has fruit trees for sale, loquat, fig, pomegranate, grapes, more pomegranate, more loquat, figs, loquat, pomegranate, uh, fig, and he has, let's see, so he ha he leaves his number down there. He's an old school guy. It's a house phone, so no text. Uh, he has pomegranate, different types of figs, loquats, grapes, lemon, kumquat, avocado, mango, uh, passion fruit. He's at 22nd in North, I means 22nd in Cold. He has his number down there, so you can give him a call and check him out. Um... I think I might have to get another uh, passion fruit. Uh, wherever I got my passion fruit from, it has not fruited yet. So I'm inclined to believe it's a male passion fruit. Uh, so I might be reaching out to Vadam to get a uh, female because I know he has the ones that will produce fruit. Right, someone on uh, Facebook Marketplace has the edible dwarf orange mandarin trees for sale. Uh, it's actually not the trees, it's the seeds. Uh, I'm not sure how long it'll take to grow from seed, uh, but this is a good uh, picture that you can get lots of fruit from small trees in a small area. 
uh, with proper pruning techniques. And I have to go out there and prune my trees. It's just been so hot. Um, I have not been able to prune because I'm afraid that I'm going to take off too much of the uh, the leaves and the sun will start beating up on the trunk. I did that to uh, one of my trees outside and it's dying right now. I cut it back early spring and uh, we just have been hot and dry since then. So it's been an issue. Uh, it's still alive at the bottom, but the top of it is dying. So I'm going to have to regrow it back. Uh, but they say that these are hardy from zones 8B to 11. So if you're in those zones, your money, uh, $34 for the seeds, uh, $4 ship. Uh, I do urge you to um, buy trees that are already established and have fruit. It can take several years before you get seeds from um, from any type of citrus. And you might not even get the uh, real deal thing. So uh, just a word of caution there. All right, guys, this is the last one for today. Uh, someone is selling Java plum fruit trees. Uh, I have a couple of Java plums outside. I think I may have lost one during, during, um, due to the freeze. Uh, I got to go back outside and double check that. I think I may have lost where I placed it. Um, but I know for sure I had some out there at least at one point. Uh, and these are going for $20 and they ship for $12. Uh, you probably can get them cheaper at other online avenues. But if you can't, uh, this one, this guy right here has them for sale. Uh, so without further ado, I want to thank all my BBs and BGs for joining in. If you're new to the channel, that's all my bonsai boys and my bonsai girls. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when future videos come out. It's the Black Bonsai Guy. I'm